Hey everybody, it's Thrifty Shopper here, and I've come back to show you a new project. I wanted to make a box. I've been seeing the box template uh, die set on um, AliExpress, where it looks like a, I think it, I think they made it look in, like a, a Polaroid camera, and then it pulls out and it has this like shape to it, um, but I wasn't really wanting to buy another item, and I have chipboard. And I have chipboard, and so I was like trying to come up with my own box. And I have lots of cute little vinyls, and I want to make it all fun and funky. And um, sticker it up and make it really cool. Uh, so come along with me while I show you my project and how to create this box. Alright. So here we have two chipboard squares, five by five. We're going to make an edge piece here. We're going to need three of these. And I'm not sure if I want to do the two inches or if I want to go one and a half. I'm not sure how thick I want it to be. Uh, probably going to go a little less than two, but maybe not one and a half. So we'll see. Um, but I do have my front and my back. And just have to figure out how thick I want it to be. And I'll need three of these sides. All right, be back. All in right, so here I have a five by five square, five by five square, and uh, one and three fourths by five here and here and here. These are going to be my edges. And we'll be back in just a minute when I get the. Um, these positioned in the right spot and taped together as a hinge. Oh, I'm sorry, I just cut them at one inch. And then I'm going to score in the half mark and cut them to be five inches long. And so here's some done already. These are going to be my hinges or what I glue on top of these here edges. All right. And uh, I'm going to cut these at an angle, and I'll show you what that looks like once I'm done. But these are just going to go right, uh, gluing these together, and then we can build the, the box. Alright, so this is what it looks like when we've put the, um, I call them like hinges or... Uh, I'm not sure, but anyways, they're going to attach to each edge, and you want it to look like this when you're done. We have little two one, uh, the little two sides here for the inside of the box there, and then um, the longer ones. Now these are five by one, and these are uh, one and by uh, three fourths, I think. Um, yeah, one and three fourths by one inch. All right, I'll be back when these are all glued down. So, see you in a minute. Glued these down, and this is what you should look like. You're just, and you want to put a space between them. If you have some kind of uh, credit card or something that you could put in the space there, uh, you just want to make sure that it can go and fold. Because if you do um, use a paper that's a little bit thinner, it will rip those. So, you might want to use a thicker cardstock for that, or at least double it up. All right. And then it just kind of folds up on itself, and you're gonna you're gonna use a another one right there on the edge, and there, there's your opening, and then it's gonna be a closed box, just like that. All right, I'm gonna put the edges on, and I'll be back. All right, so here I've made uh, a chipboard piece. You'll need two of them in one and five eighths by four and three fourths. That's going to be the side and bottom of our box for the inside of the box. And two of the four and three fourths by four and seven eighths. This is going to be made out of chipboard and that's going to be a side front and back um, to our box. All right, so I've cut out the chipboard. I've got my two four and three, I mean, yeah. Four and three fourths by four and seven eighths because the four and three fourths slides into the box like this, and I just wrote it backwards. But yeah, so it's a little bit shorter 
um, right here. So you can give you room for your um, box edges. All right, and it can slide in and out easily. So I wrote four and seven eighths, but it's four and three fourths by four and seven eighths. Okay, you'll need two of those, just like I have here, out of chipboard. And then you'll need two of the sides. And we'll do the um, one inch uh, side pieces, just like we got here, and we've glued to the edges. And I even did the inside of the box as well, just to give it really a good stable box. All right, so we're gonna make, uh, let's see, we have one. We're gonna need one here, one here. We need there, like that. Okay, so this will be the bottom of the box, sides, and then this is uh, edge. So we need one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six of the one inch um, strips, and you'll do one, um, you'll do a half inch score and fold them in half, just like we did these. All right, and they'll be the same length as the box. All right, so I'll be back when I'm done with that part. Okay, so for the outside of the box, when we're gonna mat this box, we're gonna use three of the matte paper in your choice, and it's gonna be one and three fourths by four and seven eighths. You'll need three of these, and two of the outside box papers, and uh, paper that's pretty, and that's four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and you'll need two of those, and it will go right over the cover just like, like so, and you'll wanna look at what kind of pattern you have. I've chose this pretty pink pattern here, and um, before you put these on, you might want to take your um, distressed oxides and do the edge of the box in nice brown, pink, or any color you really choose that goes along with your paper, and then you can cover it just like so. That's the outside of my box so far, and I've already showed you the chipboard pieces. You'll need two of the one and five eighths by three and four and three fourths, sorry, and two in the four and three fourths by four and seven eighths. We are going to do something special with the inside of this box. We are going to try to cut this at a circular half circle, and I'm going to have to figure that out and show you what's going to happen because it's going to be a pull out, um, a pull-out box that kind of pulls out and down so you can put your uh, pictures in there. All right, so using my new uh, We Are Memory Keepers circle cutter, I used it on the largest setting here. I put my um, piece of paper, sorry, this, the chipboard piece of paper. I put it in there and just kind of eyeballed it where the lines would cut just the, I tried to get it to where the edge, see the edge there, and the edge on the other side were even, and it wasn't cutting too much of the edge of the box off. The edge being this, this here edge. I wanted to leave that and just cut this part right here. So the best way was to take a piece of paper that was the same sizes the chipboard and kind of see where it needed to be to cut that. So I don't know if you guys have a circle punt or a circle cutter like that. If not, you might want to just take a bowl and kind of eyeball it if you can get a good size arch. All right. So then I drew that onto my chipboard and I'm going to cut this away. And I did the opposite side on this one. I just flipped my circle over and did that. So it's going to be looking like that when I'm done. All right, I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so this might be really confusing, but this is how my circle looks. And I thought if you guys tried to do a circle without the circle um, cutter, you might have some trouble. So this is what I came up with. Um, you wanna make an X on your, your square. So you go to the edges with your ruler and draw an X and on the diagonal, right here, um, 
the one that goes from top to bottom, I guess, I don't know, this one anyways, um, you're going to measure out uh, at the half inch. First, you're going to measure out the ruler from this edge to here, and it's about seven inches. And on the ruler, you're going to go um, half inch, two inch, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half. And then at the half mark, you're going to me measure out and put a dot five eighths inch, seven eighths inch at the two uh, inches. At two and a half inches, it's going to be one inch. At three inches, it's one and one eighth inch. At three and a half, it's one and one fourth inch. At the four, you're going to do one and one eighth, and it just kind of goes backwards. So again, you're going to go at the four and a half, you're going to go one inch out. At the five inch, you're going to go seven eighths inch out, and then at five and a half, you're going to do the five and a five eighths of an inch. Once you get your dots, you're just going to connect them and make this arch here. And you can cut it off. You're going to need two of these, and that's going to be your inside box. So I've done it here. I got my box here, and you can see that there's a space here on the top, and it's going to slide. It's going to allow you to slide the box out like this. I'm only doing it one-handed, so of course it's hard, um, but it's going to let you do it like that, okay? And it's going to easily slide back and forth. All right, and then we're going to do a little grommet hole here and do uh, some type of pretty bead or knob. That way we can pull it without having to go up here and pull it out. All right, now we're just going to cover the box in our pretty papers and decorate it up. And we'll see what it looks like in a minute. All right, so here I've done some the distressed oxide in, uh, what is this? It's abandoned coral. And I went around the whole edge of the box and I did the inside of the box as well. And I found this really pretty red uh, paper that I'm gonna use. And I'm also gonna use this foil uh, vinyl sticker. And it's like a kind of a red as well. I'm going to do that in a smaller um, shape on the out, on the inside of this with using my um, the largest square there. All right, so we'll see you in just a bit. Hey there. It's, uh, so this weekend I was playing around with some printable uh, llamas that I found online for free, and um, I it's a German website, and so it's not something you can read and it doesn't have a translation uh, but they had pictures and you could just download the PDF and instead of printing it I turned it into an SVG file that I could cut out here's the small one that I made and then I thought well wouldn't it be fun to make it enlarged and make a shaker out of it and so I just did one side of it but if I was you know had more time I could do this side too um, but I just sewed around the edge with some tulle and filled it up with shaker stuff. And then I just decorated it and put it together so it would make the three-dimensional um, llama. And then I put some tassels here. And then I've got uh, cute little beads that I found at Hobby Lobby in the kids section uh, where they had like beads and bracelets and stuff like that. There's a little llama, cactus, and a little bead. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I think this is really fun. It's cute, and it can be like an ornament or just a fun thing to leave on somebody's desk at work, which I'm thinking about doing. Um, I also wanted to show you uh, the box that I created. I haven't fully decorated it yet, um, but I'm going to bring it over in just a moment. All right, so here's my box. I've decorated it with really pretty vinyl. I really want to make it um, look like a, a Polaroid. Oh, my guys in the back here are all falling. <laughs> um, I want to make it like a Polaroid camera and have like this the switch up here and have like a circle thing going on here. Uh, but here's the edge and I'm trying to do it all one handed because I'm holding my camera and I've decorated the inside with that paper and you can totally take it out and I'm not sure I want to decorate the inside of this box because then it might 
be too thick to um, easily put my box back in there. So it slides in there pretty nice. Um, maybe if I painted it, but it might warp it. So I'm not sure if I could do that. I'm not sure. But this is what it looks like. And I used a Tim Holtz um, fastener for the handle there. Um, hmm. I think that's just some glue. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my project. If you guys um, are interested to uh, do a box like mine, I'm going to link my Facebook and I'd love to see you guys and how it turned out. Um, I will link the German uh, website that I got these llamas from. And if you want to decorate your own and show me what you come up with, uh, I'd love to see that as well. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye now.